Right, now we come to 66B, which is tumbling blocks. I've got two sizes of which to do this, and you can also see that you can do nice hexagons with it, which is what comes out of the tumbling blocks. So, down we go. Right, now to do the actual tumbling blocks, a, a vision of tumbling blocks, I'm going to use that top corner there as my top. So we'll sit with that there and we're going to do our first half of our hexagon. So stitch all the way round. Stop with the needle down in the fabric. Bring the ruler round to complete the first hexagon. And you can see the lines of the hexagon sit on exactly where you're going to stitch. And that's where you're going to finish, exactly where you started. Move it round. So that's our first hexagon done. Now what we need to do is put the top of the box in. So if we turn the ruler, and I'm going to turn the fabric so you can see what I'm doing, the placement of the lines. The star sits on the top corner, and you've got your two lines sitting there, and we're going to stitch the top of the box. So stitch one and come back to the centre. Turn the ruler and stitch down to the corner. And that's the one box completed. Now we're going to come out of there and we're going to put the second box in, which is the first step. There's your first step coming in. Bring your hexagon round, complete that hexagon, and from here on in, it's all methodical turning. Turn the ruler, put your star on the top corner, and stitch the top of your box. Come back to the centre, and put your drop line on. Now we want to come up and put the second step on this side. So we're going to come up to the centre, bring the hexagon out and put your lines on. And you can see that's going to perform and give you the second step on this side of your tumbling blocks. Bring it down. Turn the ruler. And we're only going to have to stitch the one line there and back to the corner and put your cross on the centre to give you the top of this box. It's all very clear when you're doing this. You can see one of the unusual patterns that you can actually see where you're going and why you're going. And now we want to produce the third step. So now we're going to come out and do that line there on that hexagon. And down. Turn her round to complete that hexagon. Bring the curve round, put your cross on the centre and put the top of that box on. Back down to the centre. Put your line on to put the centre of your box on. Now we want to come across and we want to put the next box on which fills up the gap there. So put your lines on. Can you see what I'm saying there? Put your lines on what you've already sewn. So with this particular hexagon, we've only got to do the half of the hexagon because the lines of the boxes that are already there are filling in that hexagon. Turn the ruler, put your star on the centre and do the top of that box. Take your time. Bring it in and do the centre of that box. 
bring it over we just need to come to that corner there then bring your hexagon out put your lines on see put your lines on do that box I've just got to fill in that one line there beauty of straight line patterns is that you can see exactly what you're doing, where you're doing it and why you're doing it. Where am I coming? I've got to come back down to that corner. There we go. Down to there. Now we can put our star on and put the top of that box in. And I'm, I, I, I love this particular pattern because of the illusion that it gives. Simple lines and they're giving that beautiful tumbling block illusion that would be so <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? I'm not a methodical, I'm not a mathematical person. but So for me to be able to do that, I find that amazing. And you can do that in two sizes. That's the larger of the sizes. Look lovely on a baby's quilt. Look lovely anyway. Look lovely all over the quilt. And you could start to put patterns and shading in. You know what I'm talking about. Just shade it. And you get... Oh, absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's, that's your tumbling block. Okay. Number 66B, tumbling blocks. Enjoy. Enjoy.